Hey everyone, in uh, this video I'm going to show you how to install some speakers on a 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 a regular cab. I know it's a little different from a crew cab, quad cab. i uh, be installing these Kicker 6x9s, DS693, just if y'all uh, interested. Anyways, on these uh, regular cabs, they come with this back little utility um, box where you can put whatever you need and um, as you can see there's a speaker right there and uh, there's one right here all right now first of all you need to take this off and uh, what you have is these little bolts one on this side one on the other I believe it's a it's a T25 Torx it doesn't say Torx but it, it is T25 um, they're not security so you don't need the hole in between them um, go ahead and take that one out followed by that one and also take off this seat belt um, and uh, that'll be another Torx tool as well I believe this will be the T50 but uh, I'm not sure yet I'm not that far anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back all right so I finished taking off those bolts it was a T50 uh, Torx bit to take off that seat belt um, here it is, it just went in just like that. It's just uh, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So um, then we have this little piece of panel and uh, all you gotta do is basically just pull it off. It's just basically attached with these little clamps. Uh, as you can see all along, it'll be pretty tough to pull out, but um, no worries, you're not gonna break anything. It just pulls right out. All right, so now we can see the speaker off to the side. They have these, um, again, those Torx little bits. Same thing, I believe it's a T25 again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out these four and uh, install the new speaker. I'll show you uh, after I take it out. All right, here we go. I uh, finally took off those two, I mean those four uh, Torx uh, little screws. And uh, here's the factory speaker. As you can see, this is the reason why we uh, wanna replace our speakers. Doesn't even look like one like crap anyways it's held on by just a little white connector pull in that tab pull out there it is as you can see this maybe weighs a pound or whatnot compared to this all right it's a whole lot better all right uh thankfully the crew at cooker hooks it up gives you everything you need to install these um, what I'm gonna do with this connector is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wire right about here just in case I ever want to put this stock um, speaker back on I can splice the wires back together and it'll be like um, yeah I, I, it'll just be able to hook up again all right uh, I'm gonna cut it right there and then we're gonna use these it comes with two all right we're gonna use this we're gonna go ahead and uh, use these little things to um, go ahead and connect these two sets of wires and I don't know what these are called but you know what I mean um, after that these two connectors are gonna hook up to uh, those two little things all right and uh, then it should be able to play so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like after these wires are um, cut into I made the way it's supposed to be and uh, be right back all right so this is how it's uh, should look like as you can see I cut that green those two green wires added those two uh, clips spliced them in connected the other two uh, sets of wires that kicker sent with the speakers and this is how it should look now these are gonna go straight in to the those little things right there and uh, then it should be good to go as you can see uh, make it nice and clean it really does pay if you get one of these good wire cutters uh, crimpers because these will just completely piss you off I can't stand them so I'm just gonna throw them in the ditch I'll kick them right here That's pretty much what it's good for um, as you can see um, these speakers should fit right in Excuse me, I got one hand I'm doing this with. You got plenty of room. Uh, 
the slow area. Should fit quite nice. All right, so uh, next I'm just gonna bolt this up. Or actually, I'm gonna connect it, and then I'll bolt it up, and I'll show you how it sounds like. Grande, I was All right, as you can see, you wanna make sure it works first before you install it, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bolt it up. All right, so I'm over here on the other side, and um, I'm pretty sure you can test out these wires and make sure you're doing them right, because I know there's two, and you gotta make sure you're putting them on the, the right wire, but what you can do, um, right before you go ahead and finish up splashing them, um, go ahead and get these in, secure them, plug them into the speaker, and then um, go ahead. This is really difficult with one hand. All right, let me just put this down real quick. All right, as you can see, just like that, just go ahead and put it in just so it can make some contact. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the other one, and I'm gonna put on the music to make sure it's playing. All right, so just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some tunes. All right, and as you can see, it's playing. Uh, what a gay song. Anyways, um, after you're done with that, go ahead and uh, crimp them, and then go ahead and um, put the screws back on. It's in there pretty snug. Um, they're working pretty good, and they, they fit quite nice. I left, uh, I guess, those little covers that come with them off. Because I'm not sure if the stock, uh, if the panel is going to fit over them. But other than that, uh, it's pretty easy install. You might want to allot an hour of your time to do this. Maybe a little more if you haven't done the wiring before. It's pretty simple. Um, hope I helped you out. Um, if you can do this indoors, go ahead and do it. I'm doing it right now in about 95 degrees. Got to love that Texas heat. But um, coming from Texas... You know uh, we can take the heat, if you know what I mean. Go Spurs, go!